Hello, and welcome to this episode of the Workspace One Rugged Bite Size series for Zebra OS and Lifeguard updates. Let's get going. So this is a device I've just enrolled into the Workspace One console. We're going to go to More, Custom Attributes, and have a look at what OS is currently running. Now that we know what OS is running, we can go across to the Zebra portal and download the latest Lifeguard update. Once downloaded, we're going to upload it to the Workspace ONE console. We do this in the provisioning section of the platform and under Components selecting Files and Actions. Create a new file action and then select Android. Give the files action a name and then click on the Files tab. This is where we would browse to the OS image you downloaded from the Zebra portal and then upload it to the Workspace ONE console. This might take a while depending on the size of the image. Once the upload completes, enter the download path for the file on the device and then press save. The next step is to go across to the manifest, click add action, and then select the OS upgrade option. Then press save. And save again. The next part of the process is optional, and that's to create a device condition. Conditions can be used to look at different device attributes, such as, is the device on charge? Now that's created, we can move on to creating the product, which will deploy the pile action to the device. Once again, select Android and then give the product a name. Define the smart group or the assignment rule for the devices you want to deploy to. Once that's done, click on the manifest tab and click on add. From the drop down, select install file action and then select the file action you created earlier. We now have the option to add a condition for this product. So in this situation, the product will only apply if the device is on power. We can now press activate and activate again. This product is now active and will be deployed down to the device. Once that deploys down, we can take a look at the device again. We're going to go into products and have a look to see if the product completed, which it did. And finally, we can go back into custom attributes and check the OS version. And that's it, the OS is successfully updated. Here's a recap of what we covered.